Hey, welcome back to the next lesson on how to take our Among Us project and make it multiplayer. For this lesson, we're going to go over how to initialize our local player and avatar. Now, real quick, before we begin, I want to ask all of you for a couple of favors. If by the end of this video you feel like you've learned something, then please hit the like button because it only takes half a second and it helps us out tremendously. Next, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because I'll show you this. Over 83% of our watch time is from people who haven't subscribed yet. And if you enjoy our videos and you want to be notified whenever we publish new videos, then it's super important to subscribe. And finally, I ask you to share our content with a friend or post a link on social media because I'm sure you'll agree that this channel is greatly undervalued. And the best way to help this channel grow is to get the word out. Now let's get started with the lesson. Now to get started with setting up our player avatar so that only our local player avatar has a camera and all the other things we need to do, we want to select our AU player object and we'll open up the AU player controller script. Now before we look at the script, I want to remind you that at the time of this video, the code in our project might be further along than the code in the latest video of our basic Among Us tutorial series. And so it's important that you pay attention to the changes that we're making in this video and not all of the other code that's highlighted in green. First thing that we need to do for this script is add the using photon PUN namespace up at the top. We can then scroll down to the bottom of our variables and we need to add three new variables which are for networking. The first is a photon view which I've called my PV of course. The next is a serialized field of type game object which I've called light mask. And the next variable is a serialized field of type light caster which is the script that dynamically changes our light mask to fit our field of view. And this variable is called my light caster. If you're using the 2D lighting system from the universal render pipeline, then you actually don't need this second variable. And this first game object can just be your point light. Once you have these variables created, we then need to scroll down to our start function where we need to initialize our my PV variable. So I have my PV equals git component and we're looking for a photon view. After which we have to change every if statement where we're checking for the has control variable to instead check our photon view to see if it's the local player. And so in this first if statement, I've changed it from if has control to if my PV dot is mine. We then have another if statement right here where we're checking to see if is mine equals false. So I have an exclamation mark with my PV dot is mine. Inside this if statement, we need to disable the current player's camera, light mask, and light caster or point light all before we return. So I have my camera dot game object dot set active and I'm passing in false. I then have light mask dot set active and I'm passing in false. And then I have my light caster dot enabled equals false. Now all of this will make it so that only the local player's avatar object has an active camera and light mask. And all the other player avatar objects in our scene will just be the avatar object. This is actually a super important principle for multiplayer development that you need to ingrain in your memory, where anytime you have an object like a camera attached to your avatar, you need to disable it on all the other avatars except for your local avatar. Otherwise, you'll have issues where you're looking through another player's camera instead of your own. Now once you've done all that, we can save this script and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we want to select our AU player prefab and we just have to set our two new variables. And so our light mask is our light game object and our my light caster variable is the light caster script attached to this same object. And now we can go ahead and test our project. And so I'm gonna build our project again and then going to click play now in our editor and our standalone. And here you can see that everything's still working although we can't really tell a difference. And so I'm going to click pause in our editor. I can then select our local avatar. And when I move it around our scene, you can see that the camera follows this player. I can then select the other avatar and expand it. And here you can see that our camera and our light mask are disabled. I can then scroll down in the inspector and here you can see that our light caster script is disabled as well. Now that's everything that we're gonna cover on how to initialize the local player and avatar. In the next lesson, we'll go over how to synchronize the player movement. And so make sure that you're subscribed so you can be notified when we publish that video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.